one of the things with shooting on long lenses is that your heartbeat goes into the camera and into your image. So when we're shooting with long lenses, which is one of the things that I love to do, especially in these train films where I can be very far away, we really have to ensure that we can post stabilize. So we did some tests and we found out that yes, we can post stabilize no problem at all. And that even when the shot is really messed up, it'll look fantastic using DaVinci Resolve's built-in post stabilization. There are three methods of stabilizing. Um, there is a method that is really basic and then there's two advanced options. The basic option is what we use for most things. Um, similarity is used when the frame is really in rough shape and it just doesn't work with translation. Um, but reality is, is that the stabilization methods across the board are almost the same. So trying to get rid of that problem is step one. Step two, of course, is then the color pass. And we do two nodes usually. One node that kind of brings our color into kind of an evenness using the RGB waveform. And then the second node will be kind of our final color where we actually kind of tweak the individual layers to try to find out where the shot's color actually lies. Sometimes we'll do a third node to balance compared to the next shot, for instance, which is something that happens sometimes where we need to like do a slight balance change to a, the next shot in line. But I generally like to use the same node tree on all the shots in a given scene because I know they were shot with the same f-stop. I know they were shot with the same location. And so for me, it should be the same. And then I'll do maybe a minor change in a third node. This shot was very difficult because again, the, the lens was zoomed all the way in and one of the biggest problems that always happens to me is that focus can be critical. And so I had to do a little bit of a rack focus on this shot to be able to get the engineer. Uh, and it was very shaky and I was very nervous when shooting this because I didn't know if it was going to come out at all. But in the final version, you can see it looks really fantastic. And with the 1.85 crop, which crops it in quite a bit over the 166 original frame, you can see that it kind of cuts out all the major issues that the frame had. And the slight focus pull that I had to do to make it work actually works really nicely. The frame has a lot of really good contrast in it and it ends up becoming a very, very nice frame.